Here are some examples. A 1064 uh, and 532 nanometer uh, with three treatments. Again, uh, Eric Bernstein, three treatments. You see a colored uh, center of the flower uh, which did not respond uh, the same way after three treatments here, probably one, two or three more uh, done by Henry Chan in Hong Kong, an Asian woman with uh, freckling and uh, not total but very nice clearing after one session only. So here are my own results. I'm working with this device for three months now. Uh, this is a lady with a colored tattoo. Here result after 10 minutes after the first treatment. Please look at the corner up here. You see the total days from first treatment. Day one, you see a slight erythema. Day two still. Day five almost gone. Day six. Day 10 after first treatment. Now second treatment at day 12, as you see in the right corner. Day 19. Day 19 after the third treatment. Day 20. Day 33 now, 14 days after the third treatment. So probably this lady after 33 days could go for a cover up already. Day 36, now introducing the, fifth, the 532 nanometer, the KTP wavelength, 10 minutes after treatment. One day after treatment, you see a more uh, pronounced response, even with the mild crusting after four days. We still are at day 40 after start of the treatment. Day 44, 47, 50, Day 50 again after treatment, and uh, you, you see here the next patient, pre-treatment, result after treatment 10 minutes, day 1. Day 12, day 12 is the second treatment now, 10 minutes later. Day 25, day 36, 11 days after the third treatment now, and day 56, two months, eight weeks after start of treatment and 20 days after the fourth treatment. So uh, no scarring, no side effect. We see here the ankle of a young lady who wants to get removed this name. And we have here this dual wavelength uh, laser ready to treatment. We see we have selected a wavelength of 1064 nanometer. We easily can cho choose the joule per square centimeter with a touch screen. We select 1.90 and we also can easily choose the speed of rep the repetition rate which uh, we select uh, at 3 hertz. So Everybody has uh, goggles on, that's great. We want to start now the treatment. Laser is ready now. Can you see it? Cameraman, yes. Okay, we are ready to go. How is it? Painful? A little bit, she says. So I hope you can see the result. There is an immediate drying of the skin. 
resulting in the whitening. So if we have now a wet gauze, I guess there is something available here. Can uh, use this one. Just a little bit of uh, water, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we try to apply a little bit of rehydration. So actually, we are now performing an R0 procedure, so we do an another pass immediately. So far we used 153 shots, which took us uh, 50 seconds. Now second pass. It's, I guess it's less painful now, same level. If you give uh, 0 to 10, what would you say? Um, five. A 5. She's nice. Thank you very much. But we did not, I want to stress, we did not apply any cream and she did not uh, take any pain medication, no ibuprofen. Wonderful. Okay. So we are done for today. So post-treatment would be now, uh, if I had to juice, we would do a Mometasone cream. And uh, this she would do uh, another day as well. And uh, if she felt itching, uh, she would receive uh, cetirizine, 10 milligrams for night. And uh, for um, treatment of the skin, I would apply a triclosan a preparation uh, to prevent super infection. But as you can see right here, I provide laser safety so goggles can be removed. What you can see here, there is a slight reddening, very little petechiae, no bleeding, no bleeding at all. Um, so there will be no scarring uh, in this occasion. So Thank you very much. Sh uh, did she consent uh, showing the face? No, 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 no she no. did not. Okay. No. Otherwise, you would see a perfectly smiling <laughs> young lady. Um, and uh, thank you very much for contributing. Thank you. So we will change patient. Um, yeah. So. I. So the question from the audience is uh, how many days of cortisone uh, therapy I use. Uh, usually I use it for three days, so immediately after treatment and uh, then the, the day after and the next day. Okay. Ah, yeah, okay, so we are on. Okay, we have here a young lady with a, a Becker Nevis. Okay. Nevus Becker. And we want to treat now with the same system but with the KTP wavelength. So um, so th these uh, are the settings we used uh, with the last patient. So we have reset and we change the wavelength. Now it's 532. We go to a different spot size which is it has been six, uh, 5 millimeters is now 6 to go a little bit deeper. And uh, we switch to a power of 0.44, a fluence of 0.44 joule per square centimeters, keep the same uh, repetition rate. How is it painful? No. Patient is smiling. So another pass.
How many passages do you subject? Usually I do three passages. The energy level, however, is moderate. The, p uh, the fluence level, sorry, is, un is moderate because uh, this wavelength is much more aggressive than the 1064. And obviously you don't get a lot of the, the popcorn so-called effect. Yeah. So, so this is exactly the level I have treated the patient just shown in the presentation. So we are done for the yeah. test. Thank you. Yeah. So we just uh, laser safe. And uh, we have just a close look. Uh, if we wait now for a minute or so, we see turning it red. Yeah? And uh, maybe we wait uh, for that response. We used 110, 110 uh, impulses with 6 millimeter spot size 6 millimeter spot size and uh, fluence value 0.44 we see slowly uh, increased reddening infiltration but again no bleeding maybe a few petechiae but no injury to the skin when does she need to come back to the office? for the next treatment okay. in two or three weeks. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much then. Grazie. Thank you. So the next patient uh, has again a black tattoo. <laughs> yes. And um, the feet uh, up here, like, like this. Ah. Oh yes, please. Okay. So. I think we, we can this is yours, so just for safety. Yes, yes, we can treat like this. So maybe you, you can use like that. So, okay. yeah, that's good. Okay. So uh, she wants to get rid of uh, this tattoo, and uh, yeah, we switch back. We switch back the laser. The tattoo, by the way, is uh, three years old, and we switch back to 1064. Freedom is wealth. And now it's so not wealth anymore. <laughs> no. Wealth and no. She has a uh, she has different ideals, uh, okay. of course. Now, uh, love is peace, or something like that. So we switch now to five millimeters, and we go back to one point nine. You can use it like this, or just tip it. Three hertz again, and we start treatment. So, how is it? Can you stand it? It's okay, you can go. Yeah. We are almost finished. So she said that uh, uh, taking off, removing the tattoo is more painful than uh, actually doing the tattoo. But it's quicker. But it's quicker. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So again, you see uh, the desiccation effect, the whitening of the skin, and we do a little bit of rehydration. We just use tap water for that. You know, there are special creams around, maybe with even better effect. But uh, if you have nothing else available, this is also a good possibility. And you see there is no skin injury, so very easy to treat a second pass.
trying it a bit. Yeah, and let's do a second treatment. You still uh, use the same parameters? Yes. It's less painful now, isn't it? She says maybe. So, we are done with this tattoo. Grazie, abbiamo fatto. Do, do you have questions? <laughs> questions from the audience, maybe? Uh, we're waiting for the questions from the audience. I don't know yeah. if you want to comment on uh, the post-op care. Yeah. Post-op care. difference in the uh, vascular uh, in, in the vasculature uh, in if you compare nano to pico you mean uh, in the skin damage yeah, yeah sure of course so uh, pinpoint bleeding is an endpoint in nano second treatment uh, here we have only erythema or petechiae but uh, absolutely no bleeding as an endpoint so I have, uh, uh, just to repeat, I have uh, three points uh, for my patient. First is an anti-inflammatory treatment with local steroids. I use Mometasone, if not in the face of course, Mometasone for three days. Uh, if necessary, if itching is uh, in place, I use Tetiricine. And uh, to prevent uh, super infection for uh, skin care, I use a triclosan uh, containing uh, one to two percent triclosan containing external cream. Okay, that's clear. Absolutely. Any other questions? No. No, no. no question. I think everything is very satisfactory. So we thank you, you know, for your collaboration uh, in this meeting and for this. Uh, marvelous example of this new technology. Thank you very much for the invitation. It was a pleasure to come to Rome. Thank you very much.